I don't know what was the best moment. The next best moment on Fox, after Megyn Kelly was like, okay, Ohio's been called. What, what does that mean? Well, it means that's the, that's the presidency. That's, what? What? Oh, what? The president? I mean, we've only been studying for months as to what the electoral college is. We've only been waiting for four hours as to what's going to happen if Ohio goes to President Obama. Now that it's gone to him, what does that mean? Yeah, it means you lost. But what do you do? If you have been suckling at the teat of billionaires, telling them that they're going to win if they just give you money to go out and buy ads where you get a 10, 15% markup part of that money, well, uh, you hang on white knuckled. And that's exactly what Carl Rove did. Here is Chris Wallace making the call on Ohio. And. Carl Rove going ba -ba 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 Well, I have great respect for our decision desk, and I see that they're very happy in Chicago, but I've got to tell you the Romney camp has real doubts about the call that's been made by us and I guess other networks about Ohio. They do not believe that Ohio is in the Obama camp. I just got an email from a top Romney person. I said, do you agree with our call? He said, not really. It is less than 20,000 votes. Not Really? That doesn't seem like a strong refutation to me. Do you agree with our call? Eh, not really. Now, with 20% of the vote still out in GOP areas, Carl was just on the phone with somebody else, and you got some more recent figures. Well, here it is. The secretary, the, 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 the networks, our network called on the basis of about 74% of the vote being in. The secretary of state website has 77.49% of the vote in, and it shows 2,229,686 votes for President Obama with 49.19% of the vote, and for Governor Romney, 2,228,695 uh, a 911 vote difference, 49.17. And we said it's a 900, vote, 900 Obama is leading 900, 900 votes. When it, when, it, when it was at 74 percent, it was 20 some odd thousand votes. Now with okay, so there he is. He's going on and on. Nobody at Fox. I think half of them were in the bag. Frankly, I think they have them were drunk, and because they, I think they knew this was going to be a long night and Romney's going to lose. But Carl Rove still jibber jabbing about the numbers. I'm looking at the numbers and blah, 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 blah. And then he continues on. This is going on for minutes. I think this is premature. We got 70. We got a quarter of the vote. Now, remember, here's the thing about Ohio. A third of the vote or more is cast early. That is won overwhelmingly by the Democrats. It's counted first. And then you count the election day. And the question is, do the, do, by the time you finish counting. Yeah, Carl Rove's got the math. He's got the math, everybody. He's, got, he's working out the numbers. He's going to go back to the website. He's going to check the website. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you should. we got to be careful about calling things when we have like 991 votes separating the two candidates. And he goes on and on, on and on. Precincts, I'd be very cautious about intruding in this process. Well, folks, <laughs> uh, so maybe not so fast. Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's, that's it's it. great to have you guys here. <laughs> that, um, that's awkward. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get someone from the decision desk, and we're going to bring them in here. And we're going to have them on air, and we're going to interview them about this decision. Well, I think we should sit them next to Carl Rove and interview both of them. Let them interview head. each other. Michael. Yeah, they're drunk. And then what happens is Meg and Kelly gets up because they can't get... The people from their, uh, their segment producers or wherever it is who called it. So she walks down the hall, goes in and talks to him. The guy just looks up at her and says, well, you know, this is what we do for a living. Um, all we do is crunch these numbers. And she said, are you sure? And the guy says, yeah, well, I'm 99.998% sure. Yeah. And she's like, okay, I'll go back and tell Carl. And then they have to bring somebody out to debate Carl because he will not let go because he has already exposed himself. And so he's not going to back down. He figures in his mind, and he was smart, if I keep this up for another 45 minutes, half the people are going to go to bed anyways, and I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have one-third the audience in which I sort of slink off. And that's exactly what happened. i got to say I enjoyed it.